Oh, but I got some good news for you. This is why Paul is praying for the church at Ephesus that the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. Because salvation didn't just change your condition. It changed your position. It shifted you in a dimension where now you can function in the earth realm in a spiritual dimension that supersedes this one. Oh, my God. And the thing that he shared with me that we have to understand is the resurrection. And I heard Peter um, allude to it a little bit earlier. You've heard some of this, but let me, let me unpack it in a greater dimension. The Bible says in order for us to get to the ascension that we'll get to maybe by Sunday morning. <laughs> You got to go through the resurrection. And when the Lord revealed this to me, I was like, you mean to tell me I've been reading my Bible for the last 50 years and never saw that? This is why revelation needs to continually be coming and coming and coming and coming and coming to us. Because you are not just some sinner saved by grace. You are so much more than that. You were a sinner. But that's not who you are sitting there tonight. You are in a whole nother spiritual dimension. So let me fast forward. So you got to go fast with me. You got to go fast. You got to go fast. In the beginning when God created Adam and Eve, he created them in his glory, in his likeness, in his image. They had image, likeness, power. God created them so that what he was, they could be. Therefore, he gave them his image. He gave them his likeness. And then he said, the dominion that I have, let them have. So it was God's will for his creation, Adam and Eve, for him to give away who he was and what he had to them so that they could be his representatives in the earth realm. They were created to represent God. Now, I'm not valedictorian, neither was I salutatorian. Uh, I wasn't cum laude. Uh, I graduated. Thank you, Lord. But, but... <laughs> But, but, but I made it through. But, 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 but the word representative is a compound word. Re is a prefix. Present means to make known. God made them to represent him. They were God's representation in the earth realm. They were given bodies so that they could represent his image. In the earth realm so that God could have these spirit beings wrapped in flesh walking around in the earth full of his authority. You say, why did God make them spirit beings wrapped in flesh? It's because in order for you to have authority in the spirit realm, you have to be a spirit being. And God is not just creating Adam and Eve for himself. He is also creating them because there is a backslidden spirit being in this realm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. First light bulb just went off. You heard it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's making him part spirit so that he can have authority in that realm. And then he's making him part flesh so that he could have authority in this realm. And his assignment was to govern this earth realm so that Satan and all of the spirits of darkness could not have access and operation and function in God's planet. 
And when Adam and Eve walked around, they were in full authority. Full authority. Their spirits were like God. They thought like God. They, they, they talked like God. They, they, they had so much dominion that even the ant knew, here comes Adam, here comes Adam, here comes Adam. The Bible says the creeping things knew that they were under the subjection of Adam. Everything was in harmony. What kind of power would God give a man and a woman like that? That's why the psalmist says, when I consider the heavens and the work of your fingers and the sun, the moon, which you've ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? Who is he that you would paint this blue marble just to put it under his feet? Who is he? Who is he that you would create all of these things just to make him the ruler over? And Adam and Eve were in the glory of God. They were in a dimension with God that the Bible declares that they walked. God walked, came in the garden in the cool of the evening. The cool. It's not talking about the temperature. It is the Hebrew word ruach where we get wind or spirit or breath, which means when God came in the spirit dimension, Adam was right there. Eve was right there. And they didn't meet God in the natural they met him spirit to spirit this is why your bible declares that real worship is when you get out your mind and get in your spirit for the father is seeking people who can go beyond intellect who can go beyond their minds and connect with him on a spiritual frequency your bible declares that god gave adam one assignment, don't eat off the tree that I planted in the midst of the garden. For the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. Your Bible declares Satan, knowing this command, says, here's my chance. Here's my chance to get the authority stripped from man. Here's my chance to get the spiritual dimension and glory in which he was created out of him. Satan came after Adam and Eve because he wanted out from under their authority. Has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with any of the stuff we made it about. Satan wants to be a God. And God told him, you can't be one. Kicked him out of heaven like lightning and then went to the dust, scooped it up, breathed into it, raised up Adam and Eve and said, now that's a God. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wanted to be like me, but you wasn't created to be like me. But I created them to be just like me. And ain't it funny? God wants to be God. Even Satan wants to be God. And we who have been created to be like God are the only people who don't want it. Satan salivated at your position because you are everything he ever wanted to be. And when Adam and Eve ate of the tree, your Bible declares they died. They were stripped of God's image, God's likeness, and God's dominion. See, spiritual death is not natural death. Natural death is when the spirit exits the body. But spiritual death is when God's nature exits the spirit. A dead spirit is a spirit that lacks the image of God. It lacks what I call the God genes. He's still a spirit. He's just a dead spirit. He's lost his mind. He's lost wisdom. He's, he's lost peace. He's lost faith. He's lost all that God breathed into him. He lost it. And your Bible declares at that day 
humanity, according to Romans chapter number five, died. Which means now everybody created on planet earth will not be created in God's image, in God's likeness. And so before they can even produce children, his spirit dies. Therefore, they give birth to death. And therefore, you can't even get out of the first family before Cain kills his brother. Because death and sin is now lodged in the spirit of mankind. Now all types of things are coming out of humanity. We lost God's mind. We've lost God's, God's wisdom. We've lost God's revelation. We can't contact God in a spiritual dimension. We've fallen into our carnal nature and we become like the beast of the field with appetites and our emotions are out of control because death is in us. And Satan is rejoicing because he knows now he can become the God of this world. He wanted our position. This is why he wanted Adam and Eve to sin. Because if Adam and Eve hadn't sinned, Satan would have been locked in this atmosphere, not able to move, not able to function, not able to do nothing. God created Adam and Eve to keep Satan in jail. Yes. 